Hi, I. This is Kim, or Zodiac Mortal, as you, some of you may know me. And this is going to be a video on how to play and do some of the things in WWE Supercard. You can check me out here on Twitter at Kimo Dragon on hubpages.com slash at Zodiac Immortal is where you'll likely be able to find this. So I will be doing a blog post as well on my multi-screen Modivision blog, which is all entertainment. And you can find that through the zodiacimmortal.wordpress.com site. And you'll just go to the Sidebar, scroll down, and you'll find my blogs there. Thank you. Now, here we go. Here you'll find there's three, four pages. Here you can buy packs of cards. You can't, un unfortunately, you cannot buy individual cards so that you can actually guarantee getting at least a Somebody you like. This is Attitudes by like AJ. Here says AJ Styles, the face that runs the place. It's for 900 coins or what credits, whatever you want to call it, and you can listen to a sample of what it does. But it doesn't always say what this spot here says. Um, then we go back. Team events are here. This one is Team Ring Domination, which I'll show you later. Um, here's whatever your, your card. You can autofill, you can select it yourself. I will likely fix that later, but I went and bought myself a single Dean Am a single and um, a hardened card. Um, I'll show you where I got that from if I can still do that. Alright, this is Team Battleground. This is just finishing off for this round. Now, if you're playing a team event, sadly you cannot kick someone out while the event is on or take on new players. So, if you have a problem with somebody and they're not playing, you, can, you can't even kick them out. Um... So here, my team is losing by uh, just, like, 20 points, um, which is sad. But, hey, people that don't play are getting kicked out. So, you see here, the BP, those are battle points. 600, I had 6,600 before. And uh, if you click on the rewards zone here... You'll see, for if you win, the Platinum is a SummerSlam card, Wrestle, a Survivor or WrestleMania card, and the Battle Points. Now, here in the Gold Pack, you get pretty much the same thing, sort of. Oh, I'm sorry there's a glare on this. I don't know how to get rid of that, but... Um, now, you see there's also, that this is for the winner, no matter how many points you have. You could have a thousand points and the other team may not play at all, so you'd win that. But the rest of these are, um, what is that, like, you know, second, third, you know, runner-up points, so runner-up prizes, so to speak. The gold pack is, ten, you need ten, to have 10,000 points. The silver pack you need 8,999 points. Um, this bronze pack you need 4,000 points. Sorry. And, you know, plus you also get better points with it. And then if you only get 1,000 to 3,999 points, you get, um, what is this, 80? 80 battle points. So you're always best having a higher fire than 
<coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's allergy season. Um, and then in the BP store is where I bought the Dean Ambrose card. Now, here, you can buy either single of a certain thing. Here's a legendary. That's what legendary cards look like. Now, here it's 2,000 points for a single. For a pair, it's 6,000 points. Go figure that out. I mean, why is it triple the amount, basically, for a pair? I'm guessing it's to the same exact person, so maybe that's why, because you can charge the two cards to the max, and then after that, you can combine them together and make a higher card out of it. This is Survivor Series card. Um, WrestleMania cards look like this. SummerSlam cards. Sadly, I only have two of these cards. And one is Brock Lesnar and one is Big E. And I don't like neither of those wrestlers. Although my Brock Lesnar card is pretty freaking kick-ass. It's rare that I lose with that card. Now, this is the Harden card under the NXT pad. Okay. It's... I would have called it a... I would have called it a brand... Branded pack or something, because you get NXT or SmackDown or Raw cards in it. This is Elite. This is basically the same thing you get. Um, different style, but you get, you know... SmackDown, NXT, you get the brands. Um, Ultimates, I like that. I want the damn Finn Balor one like that, because he's sitting there grass going like this. Uh, the WrestleMania 33. Hall of Fame. And then you have Paul Heyman out of but we ain't getting that. I'd rather watch Stephanie McMahon smack him across the face. I'm still laughing at that after how many years ago that was? So, this is your setup. This is Battleground here. This is my team, Scorpion Sting. And this is the other team. Now, if your players have already part in again, Now, if your team has already played, so your players, <laughs> sorry, you can click the other team to see what their cards are and see how much they, <laughs> sorry, they've charged them. And then on your team, here's the ten players per team. Now, I used to always be, like, have the top about a point on my team. You see these Logan guys have 94 and 93, and I'm down here with 81. Sea Trouble's got 112, and Skill... Skilly... Killer, or whatever that's supposed to be, is 105, so... At least I've got some players that do them better than me. Um, now this is, you, this is my team, as I said. This is how many points they've earned playing. You have, you know, the names, their champion. It says remaining attacks. You get only 15 to attack. So, make sure you charge your cards. I'll show you. Here's my cards. Mysterious Silken Onyx. I've been attacked once, and I have no more attacks remaining. And there's only um, 16 minutes left. So, I was able to get most of my cards maxed out. My flare card was the highest card, so I didn't really max it out so much. And then I had this card as well. And, um, but, you know, like, I usually start out with trying to even out the slower cards with the rest of the cards, and then go from there. Like, you see, I forget how much flare was, but, you know... His is the highest, so I usually try to max out the two lowest cards first, and then work on the others. 
so that it's, but really you should max out all the cards like this, otherwise I used to just do it like about to 10 or 15, depending um, how much time really, um, but like I said, you can go through your team, it doesn't matter if they were attacked or not, if they're on your team, you can check them and see, so if you're an owner, you can see who's, you know, at least sort of play, you know, playing somewhat. Let's see if I pick this up here a little bit. I'm so sorry, this is not showing right. Um, and then maybe it's because I've got the daylight back there. I should have did this at night, hey? Um, what else have I to show you? I also gotta show you... Alright, so, these other ones are easy. Wild mode. You, um, here's my cards for wild mode. Now you have to manually edit the deck however you want it. You can do it to lower cards right here. Um, this is your rank. And I'm um, Survivor Double Plus. You can improve cards like this. Let's see if I have any cards that I can throw in. Actually, you know what? I know the perfect card that I want to do this to. Because it's sort of a joke with me. Since um, Orton came out of nowhere and, and took out um, <laughs> Rusev, I have a habit of feeding my Rusev cards to my Orton cards. So before I show you that, I'm going to my cards. And Finn Balor is my newest favorite. But as I may have already mentioned, through the years I've gone in and out of, you know, wa I, of watching wrestling. So no, I can't train Randy anymore. So, but you can go there, you click train, and then you, you let me see if I have. Okay, I I have a Cena card I can show you with. You click train. Now here you can also add enhancements which are these sort of cards and then to train I'll just throw one of super rare now this is the the um this is the type of card you have now being I don't have anything higher than rest wait a minute why won't my hardened card show Okay, I don't understand why that's not showing, but whatever. So, we'll put the Charisma in John, and then do that. Each card has its own amount of how much it can be charged, and then afterwards you can put however many tokens to each of this that you want. Um, this gets four, so you could do... Um, one, you could do one each for, um, power, toughness, speed, charisma, and their ability, or you could just, you know, do, throw all on one spot, I wouldn't exactly advise that, but, um, I don't play, like, the, the card games, like, you know, Magic the Gathering and stuff, but I caught on to figuring this out pretty quick. Um, now, I have a message... Sorry, I didn't have that in mind. And I'll have to check on that later. Um, what was I? Oh, there's a fusion chamber down here, which I've made a few cards, and one of my fin ba Valor cards came from that. But you have to go through a whole thing, like all oh, the, like the building games. They have like levels of equipment and stuff. So you start here, you click, you put in a common card like this. Then once that's done in about five minutes, you go to the next one. You add that in, and you have to equal out, you, you know, the points or more in order to get the card in a certain amount of time. So here, I'll show you try to show you really quick. Um, this will be like a couple part series, but Gold Dust, Stardust, 
Rowdy, Miz, Ava, and Mr. McMahon. And then under Uncommon, there's Swagger, Adam Rose, Jake, the Snake Robbers, Daniel Bryan, Cameron, and Mr. McMahon, which I haven't gotten that one yet. And then in the Rares, Ric Flair, Ted DiBiase I didn't get yet, Rick Rude, Dolph Ziggler, Emma, and I didn't get Mr. McMahon. It shows you the ones that you got, but when you haven't gotten them yet, it doesn't show their picture. Booger, King Barrett. Actually, I got a King Barrett card. Not this one, but a different one right after, like, right, just right before, or, yeah, I think it was right before I won, um, King of the Ring. And I've four or five cha time champion of that now, and the times that I haven't won, I've come in, uh, second. So, I would say I'm a fairly decent player, not to sound arrogant or anything, but... So I got two Bailey cards, alright? There were 75 points each, but we go Bailey, and then we'll show you, say we put a lot... Those are the common cards are only five points. This you need 640 points for. So, some cards are worth a lot more. Okay, now here's my Harden card, but I won't... I won't use that. But, let's see, a WrestleMania card? Okay, I don't like Big E. That's two... That's two... 2,500 points. I'm not gonna use that right now, because there's higher ones, but I can activate that, and then it would go to making the card. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, where we leave off the old super rare? No, we already showed you the super rare. Alright, ultra rare... Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, right back. Kane, Shawn Michaels, Naomi, Natalia. Actually, I think the Naomi card became the Finn Balor card. Natalia and Mr. McMahon. The Mr. McMahon cards are to add some, are, um, what do you call them? Support cards. Um, which are supposed to, be, like, add extra, like, charisma or whatever. Now, for these cards, this is the, um, Epic cards. Heath Slater, Neville, Virginia Dragon Steamboat, Alberto Del Rio, Bree, Bella, Sasha Banks, which I unfortunately got, and mm, Mr. McMahon, which is 17 to all stats and deck in this one. <clears throat> Legendary, no, that was my, that was where the Finn card came from. And I'm sitting there begging, of holding this like this, going, please, please let it be someone I like before I actually opened it. So we got Seamus, which I wouldn't have minded. Rusev, I would have minded. Finn is the one that I wanted. Brett the Hitman Heart. Jim the Anvil Nightheart, which I want as well. Becky Lynch, Paige, and of course Mr. McMahon. And this one is 28 to all stats. Survivor. I think this is, has Orton in it. Uh, yeah. Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, Edge, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Nikki Bella, Charlotte, and Mr. McMahon. This goes all the way up, but I mean, you need to have the patience to be able to build on making these. So sometimes you have to hold it, hold them in for a while before you're able to. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Undertaker, John Cena, The Rock, Macho Man, Triple H, Trish Status, Lita, and Mr. McMahon is 70 to all stats on this one. Now, in SummerSlam cards, Tim Zane, I can never say his name, I always say it sounds like shit Zane. Um, that kid more. <laughs> Biggie, Bo Dallas, Samoa Joe, Asuka, uh, Mr. McMahon is 105 to all stats. Hardened, um, but you get the point, really, of 
And that happens a lot with the waiting on the network. I have no idea who these people are. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Ecom, Razor, I guess. It's R-E-Z-A-R. And we're waiting on network again. Ugh. I don't know. And it's not mine. It's their side. Because my side is... I checked and it was fine. So go figure that out. Alicia Fox is the only person out of all of this. I know who they are. And then you have Elite Fusion, Ultimate Fusion, WrestleMania Fusion, which, let's see, WrestleMania Fusion is the last one. 65,000 points you need. Bobby Roode, Braun Strowman, AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, Aleister Black, Nia Jax, and Carmella. So, I don't know where I have... The Ultimate Fusion before that is um, Cesaro, Sheamus, Fandango, Taylor Breeze, and Lana. And did I show you the Elite Fusion? Jason Jordan, which I went to, I didn't go to school with that Jason Jordan, but I went to school with a Jason Jordan, so every time I hear his name, it drives me nuts. Chad Gable, Scott Dawson, A. Dash Wilder and Maurice, M-A-R-Y-S-E. So, you know, some of these names are new to me, but... My favorite all-time is Sting. Randy's my favorite. Like Ryback. I miss seeing Punk severely. Um, and... Finn Balor is my new favorite, so... And I'm so happy the Hardy Boys are back. So... The Hardy Boys being back has brought me back to watching, and pretty much. Um, so I think I'm going to close this video off for now, and then I'll cover some of the other stuff. Um, just to double check, yeah, we'll have to show you all the other, we'll show you the games. Um, I showed you the cards had a charge catalog. If you want to change your, um, your champion here, and, you know, like your, the profile picture, you go to catalog, you go, going to name is the easiest, so, say I want Macho Man, I'll click right there, I don't have him, you need to have the player to do, so, um, okay, I have Rick Rude one, um, I can always, and then you click set champ, And then it's right there. So I'm not leaving it that way, I can assure you that. So on that, I think I'm going to close the video off on here and find my Finn or Randy and add them back on here. Let's see, Finn's before Randy, so I'm just going to go with Finn because it comes up first. <laughs> but I'll change it back to regular Finn instead of the demon. And actually, my fin cards, it was, um, the demon, actually, no, the demon is on the right card here, it's the, um, it was the Survivor Series card, and then this is the proper picture for the Elite card, but what I did was, I thought that the way the makeup looked with that background didn't look quite right, so I switched them off. Um, and to switch them, oh wait, hold on, that champ, the way you switch that off, go to your cards, and okay, here I have Miz, so you click improve, and then see this little, this little like door card or whatever, you click that, and then it shows you all the different pictures of the cars that you got, so you can just change what picture you want. I'm not doing that because I like the way that one looks, but like, I might use this one. See, changes. So, this way, if you have a double card, like I have two of Big Show, I have that one, and then I have that one, you know you can have a way of 
being able to tell if there's a card that's lower than the other one and all that. So, okay, last time. I'm closing on that. I hope you join me for the next video. And hope you'll come join and play. Um, again, it's WWE Supercard. And I'm Mysterious Silk and Onyx. And right now, my team is Scorpion Sting.